15 seconds. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round, and the fighter's eye is starting to swell pretty badly here, Joe. There's only so much they can do with the end swell here. All right, last round, you ready? You ready? Let's go we have round. arrived at this fifth and final round. Ooh, big shot, man. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love beautiful takedown land. Well, his wrestling has been a great equalizer thus far in his UFC career and gets the single leg takedown. And you know that it's his shot. It's his shot of choice, a single leg takedown, and he's securing it, and he's doing it and scored it over and over again. Cormier's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Nice hammer fist. Softened up here. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you pass. And he's out. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Plans a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by DC. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Good punch. Oh, some nice boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't sleep on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows these guys, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance and manage space in the striking room. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it to repair it back. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. Oh! Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the takedown. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile, and they can do these takedowns in so many ways. You saw it in a full now the guy's play right got there he's attacking it on it. He's gonna tag armbar here. All right, so there's the end of the round. It had a little bit of everything and nearly a finish due to a submission. But you see, when you're on the ground with him, you're in danger. Yeah. You're constantly under attack. There is no place to rest. Where you can rest with most guys, you gotta be very aware against this guy or he's gonna catch you in something that you can't get out of. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 50-45, Haymaker. Judge two scores it, 7-47. And judge three scores it, 50-45, for the winner by majority decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Haymaker. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why.